Hey everyone and welcome to a new episode of my tutorial park. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to build a nice looking frisbee ride. Now uh, first I'll show you an example of what a frisbee ride in this game could look like. Okay here's a frisbee ride that I built in a different park. So uh, as you can see it's a roto drop vehicle in the middle. Over here is a support structure and there's an imaginary arm here that uh, attaches this roto drop vehicle to this uh, uh, yeah, beam here in the middle. Now obviously it's not possible to make an animated arm uh, in uh, OpenRC2, or at least not yet. So uh, yeah, you'll just have to imagine it. Some people actually draw an arm uh, downwards uh, here, uh, which will look good if the vehicle is uh, stationary here in the middle, but otherwise it will look a bit silly. So uh, for this tutorial today, I will build it uh, without one of those arms in the middle. Okay, I found a little spot in my tutorial park where we're going to build this ride. Now you'll need a fairly large area for this ride, especially if you want to make it with diagonal uh, yeah, support uh, legs. Now you can also make it more compact by just uh, building the support legs uh, like you would do in a swinging ship, for example, then it's a lot more compact. But uh, I think it looks uh, so much nicer with them uh, going diagonal. So that's what I'm going to do. Now first I'm just going to select a 9x9 area where I want to build a ride and I've already uh, pre-selected this area and I want it to be over here. So I'm just going to uh, mark this area temporarily and then uh, I'm going to start building the ride. Okay, to uh, start off I'm just going to uh, take the twister roller coaster and I'm going to uh, place down a station piece here. I'm just going to place it uh, on the ground. And well, there are several ways uh, you can do this uh, depending on how large you want the swing uh, of this ride to be. Um, let's see. I'll just go somewhat like this. Or maybe we can just take a large... Uh, yeah, we'll just take a large uh, horizontal to steep transition. And let's go vertical here. And just to make sure it doesn't fly off the track, I'll just build a quarter loop here. And I'm just going to make a, an uh, inline twist here. Um, yeah, just to prevent it from uh, flying off the track. It uh, probably uh, won't, uh, won't ever reach here, but uh, it will be nicer if it doesn't actually fall off. And I'm going to do the same here on the back. Okay, and then we place an entrance and an exit. Now, um, by the way, uh, to build this, I actually had to uh, um, disable clearance checks. This uh, so I was able to build these tracks into each other. Now, um, we will need another cheat, which is uh, the cheat to show vehicles from other track types. And I will also show all operating modes and unlock operating limits. And that's just uh, so we can actually launch the vehicle later. So now that we... Uh, can show vehicles from all track types. Over here we'll have to look for the roto drop. Now I'll just want one train, one car per train. And for the, um, the ride mode, we'll select powered launch, passing station, and we'll uh, give it five circuits for now. And I'm just going to uh, play a bit with the launch speed. Now uh, the ride is actually already functional by now. You can see here we have the rotor drop vehicle and it now gets uh, launched uh, through the station now and every time it gets launched it should pick up a little bit of speed until it has reached its maximum speed now i think we can make it go uh, quite a bit higher uh, real frisbee rides usually go uh, above uh, vertical why well, not vertical as the i mean uh, uh, Let's say we have a bit of vertical track here. It would go above that. Let's put it like that. The arm would be above horizontal. Okay, I'm uh, just going to mess with the launch speed a bit uh, until I find the speed that I like. Okay, um, I think this uh, launch speed is, uh, is pretty good. You can see it reaches uh, quite high up here. Maybe a little bit slower. Oh yeah, this uh, I think this will be uh, fine. All right, with that, the ride is now functional. So uh, now it's time to actually make a support structure for it. 
All right, to make a support structure for this ride, um, I'll just first place a piece of uh, monorail track. Now, um, let's place it somewhere here in the middle. Uh, over here is probably a good spot. Now, I don't really usually use an exact height. I usually just eyeball it, what I think looks nice. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, this is uh, a good height. Um, let's see what height I used here. So this one's at 37 half. This one is at 55.5. So it's uh, 18 meters uh, higher. I don't know what that is in uh, when you put the game to uh, units to uh, feet or uh, units, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Now I'm here. I have a piece of monorail track, and right next to it, I, I often like to put. Uh, a piece of dinghy slide track and I also put one on the other side move them a little bit lower with the tile inspector and then I'm also going to place a piece of multi-dimension cursor track now you don't have to you do all of this uh, it's just what I like to do and what I, I think usually it looks quite nice with this, it kind of looks like there's some uh, catwalks here uh, or some other structural parts. I think these uh, usually work together pretty well. But uh, you can uh, do this uh, upper structure here differently if you want, of course. Okay, uh, quickly recolored them. When that is done, um, I'm just going to mark out uh, where I want the support for this ride to be. So I'll just use uh, a random uh, ground type. So here's the uh, exit. And the supports um, I'll want them uh, somewhere over here and marking this out on the ground will uh, make it a lot easier for you to uh, place the supports now uh, for the supports I'm going to use some single rail coaster track I'm just going to put it somewhere over here let's put it a little bit lower Okay, uh, now comes a bit of a tricky part. Uh, I want to build it this in such a way that it lines up with this uh, track piece over here. So, um, yeah, already marking this out in the ground will make it a lot easier because uh, then it's easier to make sure that you're actually building on the same uh, line. So you're going to build upwards like so. Now, um, I just built this arm like this. I think it's still a little bit uh, on the high side. So I'm going to go in Tile Inspector. I'm going to hold Control and select this track piece. Now here's something that's important to do. If you move diagonal pieces, uh, you have to um, yeah, make this check mark. Um, uh, you have to enable this check mark here, which says Apply Change to Entire Track Piece. Uh, diagonal track pieces, they actually consist of four tile elements. So if you only move uh, this one of them, then it will only be moved from one angle. And then from the other angles, it will not uh, um, work. So, for example, if I uh, uncheck this check mark and I move this track piece down, then if we look from the other angle, the, the track piece will still be at the same height as it was. So, I'm gonna move it up again to where it was supposed to be. And now, if I select this check mark, now I move the diagonal track piece down, it should be moved down from all uh, angles. All right, uh, I think this is a good height. So this is uh, the height that I will use um, for this arm from all angles. Now, uh, one thing that can be helpful when uh, building your arms like this is to check the, to enable the sheet for allow building track at invalid heights. Then you can also build track uh, at these heights in between these heights where you uh, normally can build. All right, uh, I'm just going to use this to uh, finish these arms. Now, I am keeping one uh, straight track piece uh, over here and that's uh, that will allow me to uh, keep building uh, this track. Um, you cannot really copy and paste a, di a diagonal track piece somewhere over here since it consists of four track pieces. So you cannot copy and paste them all at the same time. So that's why I use a straight track piece here. And I will just use this tra straight track piece, uh, I will just paste it over here and then I will uh, continue building from over here. So I've selected now, I pressed copy, and then if we paste it here, now I should be able to continue building this second arm here.
All right, these four arms have now been built. Now, what I usually do for this ride is that I double up uh, these arms. So now they uh, still look a little bit uh, on the flimsy side. So to make the arms look a little bit more sturdy, I build another one of these arms uh, um, yeah, right under them. So for that, uh, I'll just uh, move these um, pieces that I used earlier down by uh, one unit. And then I'm just going to continue building from them uh, to make a, a second arm right under the existing one. Okay, now we have uh, built these arms and what I usually do next is uh, hide these supports that are under these arms. And the easiest way to do that is hold control, select uh, one of these supports and then just uh, move the track under surface. Okay, and um, this uh, original track uh, we can now make it uh, invisible if we want. You should probably do that since this looks a little bit silly. Uh, I typically just change it into a lift ride. Now it looks like another support has become visible here under this monorail. So I'm also just going to move this one under surface. And that gets rid of the support. Okay, the next thing I will do is um, move the entrance and the exit to where I want them to be. I think we can have a little queue uh, area somewhere around uh, around here. And the exit, uh, I'll just connect it uh, directly to the path. Now I have to move the entrance and exit. I'm just going to open the tile inspector again. Hold control. I select the exit here. And we copy it. Then we uh, paste it to over here. It's still selected. And we press make usable. So now this is the new entrance. And then we can uh, uh, remove this one. Uh, for the entrance, I'm just going to select it here. Hold control, select it. Uh, copy it. And I'll paste it to uh, over here. And I'm just going to rotate it. Uh, make sure that the small entrance door is uh, where you want the queue to connect. See a big entrance door? That's usually to where the ride connects. So this is where the queue connects. Now for this uh, entrance, I'll select Make Usable. And I'll control select this one and I can delete it. That looks like we'll have to hide some more supports. Okay, I'm just going to make a simple queue over here. Okay, yeah, the ride uh, stats are pretty bad since I changed it to a lift. Now it was pretty, still was pretty good when it was a twister coaster, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to uh, change these uh, stats a bit. Now um, in real life, these frisbee rides can be pretty intense. They're also pretty nauseating and excitement rating also pretty high. So I think we can make them all around uh, five-ish. Nausea rating probably a little bit lower, or else it will be a vomit fest around here. But yeah, I think those uh, would be uh, good uh, uh, ratings that a ride uh, like this uh, would have. Now to change the ride ratings, we go in the ride vehicle editor. I select this a ride, and then we can edit the ride stat if we uh, set this check mark for freeze rating calculation. It's going to set the multiply here to 100. So we don't have to click 100 times uh, to change each one of these uh, stats. Okay, and then we can open the ride and we should soon see some guests uh, heading towards it. Now, um, with this done, it's time to add a little bit more decoration to the ride. Okay, and the ride still looks pretty bad, I think. Um, Something which I typically add here at the ends of uh, these uh, thingies here at the top is one of these uh, Texas giant signs. So if you place them uh, with the text uh, to the inside, uh, I think that usually looks like a pretty nice uh, end cap for this, uh, uh, yeah, this engine here at the top. I'm just going to move this wall here to the, to the top of the list in Tile Inspector, but then the other track shows uh, through it. Okay, uh, now the top part here is uh, done. Now we can focus on the bottom part. Now this uh, part still looks uh, pretty bad. 
I'm going to lower the ground here a little bit. What you usually see uh, below these uh, rides is a retractable uh, platform or platform that uh, slopes uh, downwards when the ride is about to leave. So guests uh, won't slam their feet into the ground. So uh, yeah, I think we can uh, emulate uh, something like that uh, with some of these uh, roof pieces. And here in the corners, uh, I'll just uh, double them up like this. And for the middle part, it's going to lower the ground a bit. And we'll place a base block here. Let's find a nice one. I think this one will uh, work nicely. Okay, um, I'm also going to copy a operator hut from somewhere. I have a few uh, scattered around the park. I think I'll just uh, take this one. So this is just a, uh, a cookie shop, I believe. A food stall and uh, yeah I like to use those as operator huts. Now I, I will just put it uh, over here right uh, next to the right so from here the operator would uh, be able to control the right. Now uh, I'm just quickly going to uh, uh, make this flooring look a little bit nicer and I'm going to make a fence around the right and place some foliage uh, as well. Now I, I will just uh, speed this up a little bit uh, because this is something that uh, I uh, do differently in every park, depending on the theme of the area which I put it in. Okay, I put some simple decoration around the ride. And with that, I think our uh, frisbee ride is uh, completed. Now, uh, something uh, which I uh, always advise doing for these arms is to put a nice gradient on it. Uh, it will always uh, look great, I think. And also here, uh, I think it uh, combines well with the uh, cyan that I used here at the top. All right, to finish off this episode, I will once again put one of my patrons in a park as an entertainer. All right, Emil, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It's really appreciated. And I hope you enjoy your spot here on top of this Frisbee ride. And if you're watching this video, you also want to support my channel. Uh, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. And the support is truly appreciated. Okay, that uh, concludes my tutorial on how to make one of these Frisbee rides. I build them in almost every park that I make. And they, uh, yeah, they will fit nicely uh, in almost any park. And they are not that difficult uh, to make. With a little bit of trickery, uh, you should also be able to make one. All right, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you like this video, uh, please consider leaving a like. It would really help out my channel. I would love to hear in the comments what you think of this uh, tutorial. And if you're going to build one in your park as well. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. Alright, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Bye.